My first time watching Gran Torino. Let's go ahead and watch this. I just want to say right off the back, the music sounds like this is about to be a cry fest. Why is it so sad? <laughs> oh, was that his wife? I just want to say I've never seen Clint Eastwood act before. I just know he is one of Hollywood's greats, but I've never seen him act. Can't even tone it down for mom's funeral. <laughs> Sorry, his face. <laughs> Sweet, and the salvation. Is it the end, or is it the beginning? What is this thing we call life? Foley artists, or I guess the director, really because wanted sound to be important in the scene because you can hear every breath, room tone, every text, every sniffle in that scene. Is that dad? No. <gasps> That's great. Well, where's Korea? A lot of ham. He just has this look on his face. Look at this. Are y'all finna get beat? Even the way he breathes, it's just. <sighs> Dead zone for myself, and I'm bored. Wow. Actually, I'm... Grandpa, what would you like some help? You probably just painted your nails. Grandpa, wow. Pop, wow. Why did you guys make me do that? Okay, honey, we're leaving soon. Yeah, sound is very important. You hear everything. Everything. Grandpa, when'd you get the uh, vintage car? 1972. What are you gonna do with it when you, like, die? <laughs> Girl, girl. You would look really good in my dorm room, and I don't have any furniture at all. Who are you? Hi. What do you want? Do you have any jumper cables? <laughs> what do you want? Jumper cables. <gasps> We're in mourning here. Oh, but he, up, he's boss? so grumpy. Your wife and I became quite close these last few months. You made me promise I'd keep an extra sharp eye on you. Now that you've spoken your piece, why don't you go tend to some of your other sheep? Oh. Okay. And I confess that I have no desire to confess to a boy that's just out of the seminary. Wait, did somebody at their house die too? Wish I could help, Dad, but uh, gotta get the kids home. Stop fronting, oh, yeah, son. Dude, how you doing? Uh, kids, kids gotta get home, Dad. Getting kind of restless. So uh, we're gonna head out. We're gonna head. Rice burner this, jap burner that, you know? Even a mom's funeral, you can't let it go. Just give it a rest, just drive, okay? Polarski can roll over in his grave if you can see his lawn now. You have to move into this neighborhood for Whoa! What's his problem? Oh! Why was it brown? Hi there, Walt. <laughs> what are you peddling today, Padre? Thought I'd drop by and see how you're doing. I haven't seen you in church in a while. Why don't you just... Take off down the road. I'd really like to talk, Mr. Kowalski. Do you have a problem with me, Mr. Kowalski? You don't want to know. No, I do. Whoa! An overeducated 27 year old. Hey! So, what that's your cousin, man? Come on, man, get in the car, man. Oh! What you doing, man? Get in the car, man. Come on. Yeah, I just keep on walking. I'm not dealing with any of y'all. Any of y'all. Tal? Oh. What's up, Tal? Why are you doing women's work? What do you want? I can't just come and talk to my little cousin. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? Hey, so how old are you anyway? Mentally, I'm way too old for you. Come on, ride with us. Come on. Leave that little boy alone. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on, roll with us. Now come on. Don't get your hands dirty, man. So what do I have to do? Oh. Spider told me my boy next door got mad. No! No, son. Oh, no. Yeah, no, no, my no, little no, cousin being no, little. No, 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 no. Oh. Grand Torino, fast a Mexican, a Jew, and a colored guy go into a bar. Whoa. The bartender. Here's where my flock congregates when they're not in church. What brings you in here, Father? You gotta get your flock no, together, son. Down to talk. Gotta herd the flock in. Herd the flock in. Let's get a booth. I promised your wife I'd get you to go to confession. She was very insistent. Well, you're kind of fond of promising things you can't deliver on, right, Father? You get up and preach about life and death, but all you know is what you learned in preschool. Death is bittersweet, sweet in its salvation. What do you know, Mr. Kowalski? We shot men, stabbed them with bayonets, hacked 17-year-olds to death, stuff I'll remember till the day I die. And what about life? I survived the war, got married, had a family. Sounds like you know a lot more about death than you do living. Maybe so. Wait, is that literally how he sleeps? No covers? No comforter? Oh yeah, I know something up. The fact that he just lay on his bed. 
Oh man. Why, why is ready to go? Even though he's no longer in the army, this man is still fighting a war. <sighs> oh, don't, don't hurt, no. Oh, that one spotlight in the scene is everything. Ooh, cause you can't see. Please don't, please don't. <gasps> oh, you live next door. Oh, poor Walt. <gasps> oh, what? Oh, that is so terrible. He, he hurt himself. Hey, good morning, Dad. It's your number one son, Mitch. <gasps> hey, Pop, it's your number one son. Uh, right, so what do you want? Your wife's already gone through all your mother's jewelry. Dad. Yeah. You wouldn't happen to still know that guy the Lions season tickets? Wow, that's why you really called. I can't believe that's why I don't know why he answered the phone talking about hey dad, it's your number one son. You don't even check up on the man. Minding our own business. <laughs> just hanging out. Minding our own business. What are you guys doing here? Okay. Can't I just come hang out with my little cousin? You come to start trouble. He could have died. Come on, man, we're gonna give you another shot, man. Come on. Come on. Tall. Come on, let's don't go. go. Somebody help him. Aw, come on. <gasps> Whoa! Why he pop out like that? Listen, listen. Listen, get off my lawn now. Thank you, girl. I'm not get sure. Off my lawn. Exactly. She said thank you. I don't know if he was helping, girl. He stayed. He got the. He just got it like a pocketbook. It's on deck, everywhere. What is this? Oh, oh. Now, Mr. Papa Walt. Walt, come on. Stay right there. Stay right there. Why can't you people just leave me alone? Well, you people? Because you saved how? I didn't save anybody. I just, I kept a bunch of jabber off of my lawn. I just want to be left alone. Thank you. How wants to say something? I'm sorry. We're trying to steal your car. You step on this property again. You're done. Good afternoon, Walt. <laughs> what were you thinking? Someone could have been killed. We didn't call the police. We reacted. We're not in Korea. It seems it would do you good to unload some of that burden. Killing to save yourself, killing to save others. But I do know about forgiveness. And I've seen a lot of men who have confessed their sin. Men at war who were ordered to do appalling things and are now at peace. You came here with your guns loaded this time. The thing that haunts a man the most, what he isn't ordered to do. Whoa. Finally look like a human being again. Maybe ten bucks, Walt. Ten bucks? Well, you have Jew or something? You keep raising the price. Ten bucks for the last Raising the price? Years. Is he really sweating ten dollars for a haircut? <laughs> he didn't even... His head looked the same. Wait, is that Scott? <laughs> oh, that's Corey! Corey Hardick! Can't say hi? Who do you think you're talking to? <laughs> Who does it look like? When to quit, do you <laughs> Whoa, I'm for he carried around like a purse. And why he keeps spitting? Why he keeps spitting? Stop salivating. Get in the truck. <laughs> what? What's what's happening? Where to go, old man? He's talking to his son. <laughs> why are you talking to his son like that? Oh gosh. Take care now. Yeah, you too. I mean, in this scenario, they were bothering the girl, but just in general, he does not like people of any race. What's the matter with you trying to get yourself killed? I thought you Asian girls were supposed to be smart. I know, I know. Take it easy. That goofball guy. Yeah! <laughs> or something. Stop! The way he keeps yeah. clouding his actual fun. Please. As long as it's in a place, it's a people. How did you end up in my neighborhood then? Why didn't you stay there? The communists started killing all the home. So we came over here. Jungle people wanting to be in the great frozen time. Kill people. You know something, kid, you're alright. But what about that dimwit brother of yours? He a little slow. He just doesn't know which direction to go in. Long girls are here fitting better. The girls go to college and the boys go to jail. Not him actually liking Sue. Well, I'm gathering. This is just a terrible neighborhood. I think Walt Wal should just move. Oh, tall. How about that? <laughs> he's so. How about that, Daisy? He's so. How about that? <laughs> Stop. Like he's shocked. Tall's doing something good. How about that? It's a gopher. <gasps> so you can uh, reach stuff. It's a phone. Oh, what a number so big. See that? 
<laughs> Maybe it's time you started thinking about making it easier. A lot to maintain around here. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Not y'all trying to take the house. And, uh, you know these communities where you don't have to worry about mowing the lawn. Folks their own age. Oh, oh look, he really looked nice. mad. They were resorts. Stop. It's like staying in a hotel practically. They really are. Yeah, oh, oh uh, my. Play some golf, my. Maybe? Mm -hmm. Throw me try. Can we just drop it? Hey, Waltz. What are you up to? We're having a barbecue. You want to come over? Just keep your hands off my dog. No worries. Whoa. <laughs> This is Come on. out of pocket. Oh man. Come on over and get something to eat. Really? Happy birthday, Wally. Wally. Call me Wally. Every time I look at somebody, they always look at the ground. Oh, man, no, she hates what, me. Do Come on. <laughs> <laughs> what did he do? Hey, what's sorry? <laughs> Wait, is he sick? Are, are he, you alright? Like terminally ill? Y'all don't tell me he dies. <laughs> He's actually in, enjoying himself. Look, is over there. Yeah, the kid is still in <laughs> He likes her. I'm wondering what you're doing here. That's a good question. Hi, Walt. I'm Yua. Do you have a... I even fixed a door <laughs> that hadn't even broken yet. Hey, you're funny. Enjoy yourself. Okay, yum yum. That is not her name, sir. But uh, I don't know. It's something about Walt. He kind of cool. I mean, not when he's being offensive to be like racist to people. But I mean, when he lets all that go, he's pretty cool. Worse with women than you are at stealing cars. <laughs> it's not Toad. It's Tom. My name is Tom. You're wrong, egg roll. I know exactly what I'm talking about. The best woman who was ever on this planet to marry me. He likes you, you know. Though I don't know why. Who? Yum yum. You know, the girl in the purple sweater. She's been looking at you all day. She, you all. Yeah, yum yum. Yeah, nice girl. What kind of lawnmower is that? It's literally cutting the grass. <gasps> Yikes. No more, please. I is that the chicken? The chicken there? You can bring that in. <laughs> ah, no, you, you know you want to eat that. A little bit of seasoning, you know what I'm saying? Tal is here to make amends. He's here to work for you. No, he has to be an insult if you refuse. Why is this being put back on me all of a sudden? My family is very traditional and would be very much upset if you don't let Tal repay. Let's just go. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Yeah. Shut up. Tomorrow. Never thought show. He right. lives next door. What you mean you thought he'd never show? <laughs> you gotta work for me. I gotta know what you're good at. See that tree right there? You just go over there and count the birds. Supposed to be good at math, right? Yeah. What do you have for me today? You want me to wash the paint dry? Don't get flipped with me, boy. Mm -hmm. I'm not the one who tried to steal. Don't you forget that. Why don't you just find something useful for me to do? Go get the ladder out of the garage. Oh! It's about to be extreme home edition makeover. Move that bus! Wow. Oh. Walt, you gotta go get checked out. Hey, it's, it's my last day. Take the day off. You've done enough. Toad. Oh, he was about to say... Tao, you mean so much to me. Koski? <laughs> he said, what did you call me? Oh, I know he ain't talking. He be messing up people's names all the time. Excuse me. What happened to Dr. Feldman, my regular doctor? Dr. Feldman retired three years ago. I'm his replacement, Dr. Chu. He bought the... <laughs> he bought the flip. Hey, Dad. Fine, everybody's, everybody's great. Yeah. Yeah, I suppose. A lot on my plate right now, so if there's not something pressing, uh, why don't you call me this weekend? Sure. He don't even know Thanks. if he'll be alive this weekend. Oh no, not his cousin. This kid doesn't have a chance. It must be 100 degrees in here. Just turn on the fan. 
Oh, oh, it's preparing for takeoff. May come as a surprise to a thief, but I bought this stuff. Everything in here with my WD-40, my duct tape. You have household chores with just those three things. <laughs> what? Just so you cut the blood. That's not good. Those guys were here the other night on my lawn. What about them? What were they doing here? Blew my first initiation. What was your initiation supposed to be? My Grand Torino. Now, Walt, wait a minute. Lumbar one, lumbar two. Even on a good day, I feel like nobody ain't lifting up a dryer up the stairs. Well, that's not a dryer. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Here's a safe? A refrigerator? A freezer? Let me take the top. No, no, I've got the top. It's pretty heavy. Look, I'm not crippled. I've got the top. I'm gonna go back home. Now listen to me, Zip. Now you listen, old man. Either top or I'm out of here. <laughs> Just don't let it slip out of your little girl hands. How has he perfected this old man? Bro. That face. Uh, you gonna feel that in the morning. What are you gonna do with it? Oh, sell it, I guess. 25 bucks and it's yours. So save me money putting an ad in the paper. Kind of ironic, huh? What? Mrs. One Spot is doing it all over again. He doesn't have any real role models in his life. I wish our father would have been more like you. It was really hard on us, really traditional, but you're an American. <laughs> you like him, don't you? He tried to steal my car. Uh-huh, and you're a good man. I'm not a good man. So, what do you want to do with your life, kid? I work in the Ford factory for 50 years, and he's out selling Japanese cars. So you want to be in sales, yeah? School costs money. Well, maybe you should get a job. Maybe you could just pay me. Yeah, very funny. You could get a job anywhere. Like what? About construction. Me? And I think you ought to date Miss Yum Yum too. Be a little good. Learn how guys talk. You just listen to the way Martin and I batter it back and forth. Kid from next door, I'm just trying to man him up a little bit. What's up, you old Italian? Get out of my shop. <laughs> Take it easy. Have you lost your mind? But that's what you said. You don't just come in and insult the man in his own shop. <laughs> you don't do that. What happens if you meet some? Start with um. Hi, or hello. You could talk about a construction job you just came from. See, now go out, come back and talk to him, and it ain't rocket science. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Need your haircut if you ain't too busy. What is going on? Oh, he's really gonna give him a construction job. When I vouch for somebody, that means I've given him my word. I don't want you making me look bad. This is the kid I was telling you about. Uh, Tao, this is Tim Kennedy. He knows construction, and, uh, and he's a smart kid. He'll do anything you need him for. Got a vehicle? Not at the moment. Taking the bus for now. I just replaced the tranny in my Tahoe. Just under 3,200. These, it ain't right. <laughs> you got that right. We'll find something for you to do. Not him finding common Tim, language. I, never... I really appreciate all this. Forget it. No, I, I really do. Aww. Aww. Oh boy, run. Run. Checking up on my little cousin. Yeah, man. So it's true, you got a job. You can't just leave me alone. Come on. Tao is trying to change his life. I've seen you in a few days. Where you been? Been busy. Don't worry about it. What do you mean, don't worry about it? Okay, it's not your problem. When? I did everything I could possibly do. Don't worry about the tools. Oh, oh, wow, finna go crazy. Oh no, don't give him the address. Not the one, two, three, four, five, Elmwood. No, no, no. Whoa, chill, 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 chill. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Let me tell you. Let me tell you. And he brought Daisy as a witness. Daisy, come, cover your eyes, Daisy. I was talking about Walt need to, yeah, Walt does need to move out of the neighborhood. He is the biggest gangster here. Poor Daisy. She had to witness the whole thing. I've never seen you like this before. Well, I'm feeling good. You know, I got beautiful women, great food, and so. <laughs> what happened to your knuckles anyways? Oh, no, I slipped in the shower. No big problem. Uh, look, he doesn't ask you out. I'm gonna ask you out. 
<laughs> I love to walk, but he beats you to it. You're taking the bus. I'll get you something more stylish. <gasps> no, don't say it! What? Don't say it! Don't say it! <gasps> the Gran Torino. Oh. Yeah. Take the Gran Torino. Really? Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <gasps> no! <gasps> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> Walt is crying. I don't know if he feels like all of this is his fault. One thing about the mom, they keep their mouths shut. Tao and Sue are never going to find peace in this world until they go away, you know, forever. They took Sue to the hospital. She's scared, Tao especially. He's sitting out there right now, staring at your front door. What would you do? Or at least what you think you should do. And you? I'd come over here and talk to you, I guess. Just isn't fair. Nothing's fair, Father. Call me Walt. All right. <laughs> but I'll think of something. Oh, boy. I know you don't want to hear this, but now's the time to stay calm. We have to step back from this thing. Don't let me down, Walt. Not you. Oh. This is gonna end today. I said sit down. I can't make any mistakes. Now you know I'm the right man for this job. Come back here at four this afternoon. Right now. And what, kill that cousin of yours and the rest of those Mr. Tough Guy out for blood all of a sudden? No, go home and you stay calm. I don't know what he, right. he could okay. possibly do. All finished, $10 American. Straight shave. Straight shave. You've never asked for a straight shave ever. Here's a 20. Keep the change. Oh, snap. Just... Wait, what is happening? Is he about to take yeah. Tao's cousins out <laughs> for a nice dinner? <laughs> Getting shaved? Yeah. Putting on a suit? <laughs> I... Oh. I don't know why this didn't hit me sooner. I'm here for a confession. What have you done? Nothing. You just take it easy now. How long has it been since your last confession? Forever. 1968, I kissed Betty Jablonski at the factory Christmas party. Sir, sir, sir. I didn't pay the taxes. It's the same as stealing. I was never very close with my two sons. I didn't know how. That's it? That's it. Are you going to retaliate for what happened to Sue? I'm going over to that house today, Mr. Kowalski. That's so. Busy day. Gotta go. Solution's mine. Never fired a weapon before. Why don't you put that one down? I was the only one that came back that day. Gave me a silver star. Here it is. I want you to have it. Oh. As we all knew the dangers that night, but we went anyway. There's always a chance you don't come back. How many? How many what? How many men did you kill in Korea? Thirteen, maybe more. What was it like to kill a man? You don't want to know. I'll close it up. <gasps> no! What? what are you doing? You let me out right now. Let me out! The only thing worse is getting the Medal of Valor for killing some poor kid that wanted to just give up, that's all. Not a day goes by that I don't think about it. You don't want that on your soul. That's why I'm going it alone tonight. <gasps> well, no. you take me with you right now. And I'm going it alone. <laughs> no! Whoa! Whoa! What are you doing? Hello? It's Walt. Keys to my house are under the ceramic turtle on the front porch. Sorry, Father. We have to go. I'm begging you to stay. Specific orders. If you came with us, you're leaving with us. No! It feels like there's only one way this really can end, and that's with Walt not surviving. He is one man against six boys. Shut up. I got nothing to say to you. Yeah, yeah. Now go ahead and pull those pistols like miniature cowboys. Don't worry about Tao. Tao's got not one second for you. What is that? Kind of jumpy, aren't we? What? What is? What is going on? Eerily scary. Like, what is he about to do, bro? Oh, the metal! <laughs> oh well, it 
it's really the metal. It was the metal. Oh. Are they about to attend his his funeral? Oh man. <laughs> oh man. What? What's going on? Is that what's going on? Are they about to about to attend his? Oh, the tears. Oh man. Oh man. Oh oh this is oh this is how the movie started. Oh, oh it's how it started, yo. It's here is there. Uh Alski once said to me that I didn't know anything about life or death. I knew really nothing about life or death <laughs> until I got to know Walt. And I want to leave my house to the church because Dorothy and I'd like to leave my 1972 Grand Torino to... <laughs> Don't say it. Don't say it. My friend... Oh. Tal Van Lore. Oh. Don't paint any idiotic flames on it. That's so sweet, bro. Huh? The movie is called Grand Torino. <laughs> it's called Grand Torino. Ha ha ha! Oh. Listen, it was not my intention to come on here and boo hoo, <laughs> boo hoo. But um, Grand Torino. Um, you know, I didn't know what to expect going in, but I guess to sum up this movie in one word, it would be intimate. From the very beginning, um, it just felt close. It felt a personal. This movie, it gave off independent film energy. There was a lot of heart, character. It had a naturalistic approach. I said early on, the director, oh, the director was Clint Eastwood. I didn't know that, but sound played a big part um, in this movie. You can hear um, just every, like, at the beginning scene of Dorothy's funeral, you could hear every sound. And even when sometimes um, Walt was at home, um, you could hear cars driving by, just the trees rustling. And it just felt like we weren't even watching a movie. It felt more like we were watching our neighbor across the street. Just to see Walt's transformation of how he felt towards different people groups, um, it, his reasoning kind of unfolded. It didn't justify it, but... And then the fact that he couldn't connect with his own two children or his own family, but he was able to connect with Sue and Tao in the end. And he was trying to teach Tao how to be a man, but in return, it made Walt a better man and a better, a better father. And I just think, you know, story was well-rounded um, in the end. Walt getting shot it was a sacrificial act um in a way where he didn't have to have more bloodshed on his hands but in the way that he sacrificed himself it was almost an honest way because he didn't have to hurt um you know Tao's cousin in the gang which would have you know affected him and he would have been the one to go to prison instead but man and, you know, for this being my first time seeing Clint Eastwood act, like, I know he's like a Western king in Hollywood, but it was just interesting to see this. This is, you know, my, to see him acting in this. Uh, that's my first performance of him, and man, man, he's good. He's, wasn't expecting this from Gran Torino. I just thought it was just a movie about an old grumpy man who needs a little bit of happiness in his life, but no. He sacrificed himself and it made me cry. It made me boo-hoo. So I hope you all enjoy this video reaction. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. Go ahead and tap that bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. And if you'd like to see more content, look at one of these over here. Until next time. Oh man, I didn't expect this movie to make me cry. Like, what? I got me crying tears like this is Green Mile. Shawshank. <laughs> <laughs> trying to think, what else did I cry off of? Yeah, I think that's about it, but.